What's up guys, Penguin Overlord here, and welcome back to the Ghost Recon Breakpoint Private Beta. It's that time again, boys and boys and girls, excuse me if I can talk correctly tonight. It's time to go kill another behemoth drone. As you can see, this guy is literally right here. And I got detected from a weird direction. Not sure what that was all about. But, uh... Yeah, uh, this behemoth drone, I forgot to clarify in the last uh, behemoth drone kill video where I was. So, I was, in the last behemoth video, the first solo kill, uh, I was right here in uh, Mount Hodgson. And that was a level 20 a gear score uh, behemoth drone. This one's level 40, so it'll be a little bit, let me scroll up to the right place. This one's level 40, so it'll be a little bit tougher. Um... So, yeah, let's get on with it. So here's what we're going to do. Let's whip out that rocket launcher. Because I think what's going to be key in fighting the behemoth drone is um, taking out its armor early. So that you can do more damage later. So let's get on with it. How much damage do we do to it? Not a whole lot. It looks like we blew up its armor though. Quite a bit. Uh, that outside looks good. That side looks more messed up. Okay. Let's fire off that rocket launcher one more time. Okay, it's... We lost our initiative there. We have to wait for it to move back a little bit. Just so that we can get a proper angle on it. Alright. There we go. Oh crap. Moving. Alright. Our explosive... Our true grip meter is not really filled up. And my backpack is missing for some reason. That's okay. Let's hit it up with the grenade launcher. And it's gonna go in the wrong direction. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, this is a fight that usually takes a little while um, when playing solo. You definitely it's it's better to have friends with you that when you're fighting these behemoth drones and doing it by yourself. But it's totally doable solo. You just gotta wait for it to move back into the right spot. Cause how I usually fight these is that uh. I'll move from spot to spot, like you saw in the last video, so that way he concentrates his rocket fire all on one spot, and then uh, I move to the other spot and shoot him from there. So, let's not pull out my handgun, I don't know why my character did that, maybe just uh, tap up the wrong button. Okay. Got you in my sights. It's disabled. Okay. Got some solid hits. Now it's time to move.
Those were all misses. That's not good. Did some damage to it, but mostly we got rid of its armor, which is a good thing. Yep. Position has changed. Let's see what can we pick up. Oh, we got more rockets and more grenades. Cool, cool. That's a good thing. Now let's switch back to regular ammo. And wait for him to come back. And let's just take in the environment here. It's looking a little... The game was looking a little glitchy yesterday, but... It's looking nice now. Could still use a little bit more polish, but I'm sure Ubisoft will do that. Let's whip out that rocket launcher. That didn't work. Move, 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 move. Actually, let me go to my loadout screen and make sure my backpack is selected. Sorry about the interruption, but it's starting to bother me. I know everyone's in love with not having a backpack on, and that's a great option. It really is. I didn't really get any new backpacks yet. That's a little bit disappointing. This is one I really want to get. We'll talk about Battle of Rewards in another video, because I finally figured out um, what Battle of Rewards are. It's not a PvP thing. So we'll talk about that soon. Uh, the Dragon Egg Pack, that's kind of cool. Okay, you're not here for this. You're here for me to kill Behemoth Drone, so let's get back to that. I still barely have my uh, True Grit technique filled up. And I'm out of rockets. Okay. This guy's not... What are you doing? Behemoth drone. Please. Well, we did... We've done some good damage to it. Just not a whole heck of a lot. Oh, moving. Moving. There we go. Now my ga technique gauge is filling up. I don't know why explosives don't work as much for it. I thought they did. You know, in some ways, I actually think the Behemoth Drone fight might be easier uh, playing solo than co-op. Because with co-op, you have to watch other people and worry about other people. Um, and you have less room to maneuver. Oh, he lost me. That's nice. <laughs> One of J. Skell's finest inventions, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's me, bitch. I'm still here. We're not done until I say we're done. Oh, had a bit of a close call there, but that's okay. I'm just picking up random shit as I run around. <laughs> this is awesome. This is funny. Just, uh, yeah. Come on, get over here. Hey. Still bombing. <laughs> Yeah, that's the cool thing about Behemoth Drones, that they're not constantly tracking your position, they're just from the last spot where you hit them at, that's where they uh, attack you from. Okay, now you start to move. And we 
can hit you again. Alright, let's make sure we're far away. Right about here sounds good. If we can get the angle. We can! This recoil is so bad though. Time to move. Yeah, I really need to get the compensator and the mall. The mall DA. Actually, I haven't made my gunsmith video yet. That will be the next video. Why are you back over here again? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, we've got my technique gauge filled up, so... I should show off the perks. So this is what I'm currently running, because... The uh, M82 is actually a surprisingly effective weapon against the Behemoth drones if you're hitting at that critical spot, the red glowing bit. So here's what I'm running. Explosive Expert. I don't know if that affects grenade launcher damage or not. I'll have to test that a little bit more. But uh, yeah, that's a solid perk if you like using explosives. Uh, Rolling Thunder. I just picked this up. So plus 20 weapon damage when using a sniper rifle, which I am. And plus 20 damage to drones. However, caveat, um, it's lower against raid bosses. So I'm assuming the Behemoth drone is a raid boss. Uh, that's the assumption I'm making. But if it's not, if that's not true, if it's plus da 20 damage to drones, we're talking about plus 40 damage, 40% 40 damage against a Behemoth drone, which is awesome. And sensor hack for extra drone, um damage and drone evasion so it's harder for drones to detect you which is a good thing to have when you're fighting the behemoth drone probably not a hundred percent necessary but hey it's nice to have takes longer for him to oh crap oh you okay that was weird i was not expecting you shoot at me from there Okay. So, but the cool thing about True Grit um, with the M82 is that it really tames the recoil down so you can get like five shots into the Behemoth Drone's uh, critical area like really easily. So... I need to wait a bit. Ooh, he's really almost done. That's cool. We might even finish him off with this one blast. Um, we gotta just lure him back over to where I can see him, though. Let's try this. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um... I was gonna throw a grenade. Okay, he's moving back. He's moving back. Or should I say it? Because it's a robot, and robots generally don't have gender unless it's programmed into them, I guess? I don't know. Alright, it's suspicious now, again. I need him to show- I need you to show me your big red area thing. It's climbing up. Okay. Sorry, it's taking a little bit longer than I really wanted to. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, that, um... That did a ton of damage to the drone, so it looks like 50 caliber semi-auto sniper rifles are going to be the way to go for the Behemoth drone, especially with the true grit technique, so that's cool. Oh, shit! Okay, I don't... 
I guess I guess I was wrong cuz somehow it heard me. Okay, so I guess it heard me. And somehow hmm. Okay, so this changes um this changes things. So it could hear me somehow. Huh. Somehow I guess it was I somehow I guess I was super close to it so it heard my movement. Alright, well, let's finish this guy off. Hey! Get back here! And it's dead! New jeans, cool, I needed new pants to match my gear score. What else we get? New vest, cool. Kinda wish we got a new weapon, but whatever. And there you go, we killed it in about uh, four minutes shorter than the previous video, which is awesome. Because um, now we can get an effective strategy going. And in fact, we should probably just use the uh, 50 cal the whole time. Especially with those perks that I've been using. Because I think if we add it all up, Assuming that the uh, plus 20% damage to drones is um, not talking about the behemoth drone. Um, if it's talking about like the future incoming raids, we're talking 50% damage to drones with the sniper rifle. So that's pretty powerful. So yeah, there you guys go. I'm going to go collect my rewards. Two skill points with... Uh, let me highlight it again. Two skill points with this Behemoth Defense Arena, at least in the beta, and a black uh, face paint. Black paint D. Not really super interesting in and of itself as a reward, but hey, two skill points are two skill points, so why not? And of course, Behemoth Drone, you get loot from that. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you all in the next video. I'm Penguin Overlord, and uh, yeah. I'll catch you all again next time. Take care, guys.